Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking today's Dreda D. Rose report. Got some bad news for old Vince. And I tell you, if Vince would actually not depend on the yes men to come to him and tell him what the problem is, ask us. And I really mean talk to us. Not just the people in the media or whatever, just us wrestling fans. We can help. We will tell him. He may not want to hear it, but we can tell him. But Monday's Christmas-themed episode of Raw featuring John Cena taking on Del Rio on a Miracle on 34th Street fight and the Santa injury angle uh, drew a 2.2 cable rating, which marks the show's lowest rating of 2012 and in over 15 years. The last episode to draw uh, a figure that low was September 8, 1997, which featured uh, Tri Triple H taking on, uh, well, Salvio uh, Vega, I guess, uh, versus the trip, uh, the Patriot, and I must have been a triple threat, I guess, and that was the main event. But, uh, of course, it's going to be down because of Christmas season, but you look back at Christmas season to Christmas season, and it's, oh, um, just ask. We would love to help. And as reported earlier, Raw averaged about 3.1 million viewers over the course of the two hours, down from 4 million. 200,000 uh, the week before, uh, and it drew a uh, 2.9 cable rating. Anyway, hour one drew about uh, 2.94 million viewers. Uh, hour two drew about 3.2 million viewers, and now uh, that was our hour two. Hour three drew about 3.2 million. <sighs> Just we would like to have a better raw, also. Well, well anyway. Uh, this week's episode of JBL and uh, Cole Show is now online as featuring appearances by multiple guest stars this time. The synopsis reads, uh, okay, so JBL uh, doesn't actually uh, fire Michael Cole, we think. But uh, the week's episode is jam-packed with uh, stars. They've got uh, John Eisner, talks to greatest superstars of all time. That's a tennis player. Uh, great Kali uh, learns to tweet. And Yoshitatsu learns to tout. And oh yeah, Mean Gene Okerlund's on there. Uh, I've never watched this. I don't know. You know, they concentrate too much on the, on the damn network and on this silly stuff here. Put some that much concentration into your uh, weekly shows. I'm getting mad now. Alberto Del Rio and uh, Ricardo Rodriguez signed autographs today at the Boost Mobile, Chicago, Illinois, uh, 3 to 5 p.m. And uh, there's some uh, some more notes from last night's Raw, Madison Square Garden. I was telling you about this. It was a big show. But anyway, the box office was open for one hour uh, after the show with uh, WWE Hall of Fame tickets going on sale. And there were huge lines, I guess, there. And some names in attendance at ringside and other places was Betty Skaglin and uh, Phil Collins, singer, DMC of Run DMC. Uh, Big O and Zack Ryder's dad and Paul Heyman's family was also in attendance and the show uh, was ran backstage by Michael P.S. Hayes and the wonderful Vibe H's John Laronitis. So now we know what he's doing. Running the show every once in a while. And uh, Big Talk backstage, believe it or not, this is odd. Somebody told a fan, I would suspect, I, I'm just saying this, uh, they probably told a fan, uh, the female fan, to get back. Well, she took it literally. Fan uh, backstage was a, uh, as they were uh, driving into the arena, jumped onto the roof of Ryback's car right before the show, I guess. And apparently, apparently she was trying to get inside the car. So if you remember what I just said, somebody told her to get back. Well, should have done that. Hey, uh, Road Dog, BG James, and uh, Billy Gunn, they picked up another win over Rhodes and Sandow at last night's event, event in uh, Madison Square Garden. And, of course, Billy Gunn was just so excited he can't uh, believe it. And most of the night, uh, the uh, MSG shows uh, were about the same as the previous night in Detroit, if you were there. At the Shield, they defeated uh, Ms. Kane and Bryant in their uh, MSD uh, debut. Uh, Ryback versus Paul Heyman. It was a New York street fight. Barely happened as the Shield jumped Ryback on his as he made his uh, entrance. Uh, this brought out Kane, Bryant, and Miz uh, for a big brawl. 
and Ryback ended up hitting shell shock on Heyman for the win. Ryback returned to the ring and speared Heyman through a table uh, in the corner to end it. Sent everybody home happy except Heyman. And uh, ECW original Chris Chetty uh, has not appeared in a wrestling event since 2005, but he's going to reunite with his former partner Supernova for a pro wrestling syndicate card. Uh, I guess night two it's called. Uh, April 5th, uh, Sportsplex in uh, New Jersey. They're going to be facing Shane Helms and John Walters. Uh, also announced for the show is Necro Butcher taking on the New Jack, which should be just a PG match. <laughs> well, maybe a G. Joking. Uh, La Parca taking on John Morrison, plus a special guest appearance by superstar Billy Graham and Bret Hart. Jamie Noble, remember him? He got a knee, uh, uh, gave, um, who was that, Chavo, I think a knee to the head, about knocked him out. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Who was that? But anyway, let me get on with this. Uh, Jamie Noble, who's been uh, working as a WWE producer, made uh, one night only return last night's SmackDown Live event in Green Bay, Wisconsin. He lost to Fandango. Uh, trying to remember who that was. Oh, that was Billy Kidman that landed on um, uh, Guerrero's head. Knocked him out. All right, Kofi Kingston, Alicia Fox is going to be appearing at uh, Scott Still Center uh, in Minnesota today, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Hornswoggle and his family and friends uh, were in the crowd at last night's SmackDown in uh, Green Bay. And Green Bay Packer uh, Donald Driver was also there with his family. And while injured, WWE uh, Champion CM Punk has taken time off this week as he uh, has not been at uh, the holiday events, I guess. But Punk was at a concert last night while WWE uh, were at Madison Square Garden. I don't know how that goes over. But anyway, former WWE and uh, WCW superstar. I ain't going to say superstar. I'm not going to say too much about him except he's stopping his brother, Randy Puff, uh, uh Macho Man Randy Savage going into the Hall of Fame is Lanny Poffo. He turns 58 years old today. And TNA knockout uh, Taron uh, Terrell turns 27. I'm just bitchy that he, uh, Lanny, says he's doing what his uh, brother Macho Man wants. Is his whole family going to go into the Hall of Fame or nobody? All right, the latest from the Shields, uh, Seth Rollins, is uh, he says, uh, Justice lives in our hearts, and we will not be held down another second. Believe in righteousness and hope and... Oh. WWE's got the following matches for tonight's SmackDown. It's Brodus Clay taking on Epico, um, Sandow, Rhodes, and Barrett taking on uh, Kane, Bryant, Kingston. Uh, Ryder's going to be taking on Cicero, and Miz taking on Ziggler. Those two are usually have a pretty good match. They're good wrestlers. And the Cicero and Ryder probably be a good one. Uh, Maddox versus Sheamus. Maddox is good. It might be a good match, too. Could be a squash. Uzo's taking on uh, Tynos and Neil, uh, Darren Young, for the 102nd time. Big Show's going to be defending his world title against Superstar, uh, who has his name picked at random from a tumbler. I don't know who the tumbler is, but... Uh, next year's uh, Hall of Fame induction is going to be taking place in Madison Square Garden, New York City. The company plans to pay homage to the, the famous in that area, and they've been wanting to do this, but I'll read it to you anyway, see how far we can get. Besides Mick Foley likely to be enshrined, there's discussion of Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, The Night Nasty Boys, of course, Sags and uh, Knobs, and Harlem Heat, Booker T and Stevie Ray being inducted. And according to Death 4 w Online, Johnson made his debut at the famous arena in uh, 1996 while Harlem Heat was a New York-based gimmick, even though they're from Texas. That's, that's close. Anyway, uh, in the case of the Nasty Boys, who hails from Allentown, Pennsylvania, the two were billed from the streets of New York City during their time in World Championship Wrestling, uh, which is probably before they got a paycheck in wrestling. Uh, company officials would also, also like to do the enshrining, of course, Owen Hart, which we got Martha Hart still up in the air, but uh, who defeated uh, Bret Hart at a memorable 
WrestleMania match at Madison Square Garden in 1994, despite the push for Owen, the enshrinement is unlikely due to materializing of the widow would not allow it. Uh, Hart's brother, Smith, reveals on Twitter earlier this year uh, because she blames the wrestling industry and its entirety for his death. If he got killed in a car wreck, do you just go after every car that's made? Uh, maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Uh, anyway, she's the sole survivor, uh, or rather, she is the sole owner of his estate, and Martha uh, says there will never be a way... Perhaps his kids may eventually make the choice, but that's uh, at least 20 years in the future. Boy, we have something. I don't think Owen would go for that either. I really don't, man. Uh, but anyway, plus, uh, Triple H, WWE Vice President uh, of uh, Talent and Live Events, is said to be desperately wanting Bruno San Martino enshrined, but uh, it's considered a long shot for a uh, multitude of reasons. Although WWE is tempted uh, to distance themselves from Chris Benoit, now catch this. No, I'm not talking about Hall of Fame. Uh, but, uh, you know, because the way his career ended in um, 2007. Recently, uh, WWE released an encyclopedia again. And it features a sizable entry on the late wrestler, believe it or not. And according to F4W Online, this move has many people in WWE baffled with... Uh, his entry taking up more than half a page. So, anyway, the bio not acknowledges uh, Benoit uh, emulating the Dynamite Kid after seeing, uh, you know, compete uh, when he was uh, 12 years old and uh, training at Stu Hart's famous dungeon, uh, wrestling all over the world, making a name for himself at WCW before jumping to WWE and fulfilling his destiny. Uh, he captured the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania 20 in a triple threat match against uh, Triple H and Shawn Michaels, and there was a, no acknowledgement of the double murder and suicide, although they address his past, you know, uh, uh, accomplishments. Uh, well, I don't want to call that an accomplishment, the murder-suicide, but uh, at least, I don't know whether they, that surprised everyone, but that being in there, but... Uh, I guess it's okay to recognize him. To get into the, the end of his career, I don't know still what happened there for a fact. Concussions, drugs, roids. Wish we knew. Uh, better get off here. we got about two minutes left. Hey, thanks for clicking, you guys. i got to go.